When the Jewish nation came down to Mitzrayim, the Pesach tells us that the Mitzrayim found them abhorrent. They were loathsome in their eyes. Rashi explains that it doesn't mean that the Mitzrayim looked at the Jews and saw the Jews as loathsome. And rather, says Rashi, the Egyptians looked at their own lives as abhorrent, as loathsome. Because they saw the Jewish people there, because they hated the Jews, their own lives became miserable. And this Rashi is difficult to understand. Because if in fact the Mitzrayim had an enemy, if they hated the Jews, I understand why they would look at the Jew and say, that miserable creature, I hate him. But why would the Mitzrayim hate themselves? And why would they find their own lives miserable? And I believe the answer to this question is that that is the way the human works. If you've ever seen the face of a man who's angry, you see the anger, the seething hatred, he doesn't look happy at all. As a matter of fact, he looks like a man in pain. If you see two images of a man, one angry and the other in pain, it's oftentimes very difficult to distinguish because a man who's angry, a man who's upset, is in pain. His life is not comfortable. His life is not enjoyable. The Mitzrayim found their own lives disgusting. Why? Because they hated the Jew. The Jew was there in their face every day, every morning, all day. I see that abhorrent, loathsome creature, that Jew. I hate him. I detest him. Their own lives became miserable. Their own lives became absolutely untenable because of the hatred that they felt for the Jewish people. And I believe there's a tremendous lesson that this Rashi is teaching us. And that is, besides all the reasons that a person should work on his midos, if you'd like to enjoy quality of life, if you'd like to enjoy your life here in this world, if you work on your midos, you enjoy life to a much greater extent. A man who's angry, a man who's jealous, a man who's arrogant does not enjoy life. A person with good midos, a person who's humble, a person who has a good temperament, enjoys life in this world to a much greater extent. And this is a tremendous illustration where your life can be tremendously disgusting in your own eyes because of one bad midah.